What's good, everybody? How are y'all doing? Are y'all doing all right? I hope you having the shit one, man. It's your boy, Hobbs, and today I got my boy, Devin McNair, with me. He is a diehard South Park fan, and today we will be tapping into the tales of Scrody McBuggerballs. This won the poll for the week. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Wait, why? Y'all got y'all did the thing this time. Y'all did oh, y'all thing this week. It's one of them episodes? It's one of them ones. Like No, like that ass, this is one of them ones, nigga. Really? Yeah. Like you fuck with this whole. Like, yeah, no, like, like this it, one is <laughs> You would have voted for it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well shit. If you voted for this episode right here, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Now let's get into this whole rap. The tale of Scrody McBuggerballs. What a name, huh? Okay, kids, let's take our seats. There has been a change in school policy, and so I'm assigning you all a book to read. Okay, that'd be the worst. God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kids, book. This book is very controversial and has just been taken off the banned books list. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Sweet. It's called Catcher in the Rye, and it has oh. some very risque parts. All right. And in fact, All right. many schools across the country still ban this book because mm. it's thought to be so inappropriate. Tight. Oh man, I can't wait! Okay, now they're interested. Yeah, they interested. Yeah, interest. <laughs> I never read it. And tomorrow we'll discuss this. No, no, come on, let's read it now! Mr. Oh. Harrison, didn't the guy who shot John Lennon say it was because of this book? Yes, apparently wow. John Lennon's really? killer said he was inspired by Catcher in the Rye, but he was just a kook. Whoa, you're That's telling crazy. us this book is filthy, <laughs> inappropriate, and I mean, made the guy that killed him. The guy that killed him? It's a coke. What does that word mean? He cookie beans. So you don't know what it means? No. Nah. Okay. If that's not what it means, what it mean? I would just I don't know what it means, but it sounds like a slur. I would. Nah, just... it's kooky. Like he's loopy in the head. Kooky is different. That's just short for. Kooky sound like some Scooby Doo shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought it was. Like okay. this nigga's crazy. Okay, maybe that is what it means. I don't know. Yeah, you know, nigga. I don't know. I don't like, know either. I don't know. Like, if that's not what it is. It sounds crazy as hell. Like, And Mr. Garrison saying it like, yeah, you know, that nigga just be saying whatever. So, I mean, yeah. Ain't no telling what it's that South is. South Park, though. Yeah. They just be saying whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it is. I don't think it's a slur. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. Uh, yeah, I hope not. They going to let me know. You going to let me know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if anybody going to let you know, YouTube going to yeah. let you know. Yeah, YouTube going to let me know. Shit. Sure. Apparently, John Lennon's killer said he was inspired by Catcher in the Rye, but he was just a kook. Whoa, you're telling us this book is filthy, inappropriate, and made a guy shoot the king of hippies? Can mm. we please read this right now? You will the king of hippies? King of hippies, yeah. And you will all be mature about its adult themes and language. Type. Okay. <laughs> Kyle Did you get to any dirty parts yet? No, it's still just some whiny, annoying teenager talking about how lame he is. Wow. Wow. I don't get it, dude. What's so controversial about this? All he's done is said shit and fuck a few times. I know. I'm almost <laughs> yeah. at the end and there's nothing. Damn. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I read the whole fucking thing. Yeah, he read fast. Thinking, yeah. All right. I guess the cool offensive stuff must be coming. And then after like 100 pages, I was like, all right, I guess all the dirty stuff is at the end. And then I got to the last page, and I was all, the fuck is this? Yeah. I just read a book for nothing. Damn. This book banned. They baited the your ass. Yeah, they baited all Bring of them. Bring us into reading a book by enticing us with promises of vulgarity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, Kenny. Yeah. Why did anyone think this book is obscene or dangerous? What butters think? Oh wow! Yeah. Kill John Lennon. Hey yo! Yeah, he's gonna Kill cry. John Lennon. Kill John Lennon. <laughs> he's crazy, <laughs> right? Hey man, he kooky. But <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect example right there. Hey man, butters. We all know about butters already though. Yeah, butters a wild. He a wild child, so you yeah. know he he got that in him already. <laughs> yeah, you know, what That's I mean? crazy. you know what I mean? It's in his brain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You need some help. That's it. Yeah. Leopold. Yo. <laughs> Kill 
John Lennon. Look at his eyes. Yeah. Kill John Lennon. Crazy in his eyes. Yeah. Kill John Lennon. Kill John Lennon. <laughs> he got his knife at the bottom of the drawer. Hey, Dad, where does John Lennon live? John Lennon's dad, Batters. <laughs> Just gonna leave it there. Some right. People really do consider this obscene. It's not obscene, dude. I'll show them fucking obscene. Hey, yeah. Mm, we should write on. our own band book. Yeah, we could get a book band way more than this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The tale of. The tale of Grody McDickinass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that one's good. That's right, good. That's Kenny. a good one. Yeah, Katie, come on now. It was a, a warm spring morning. Okay. The music's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they playing that hoe though. Yeah. Good shit. Hey, it's a good book. Gotta be. Yeah, Come I can dare. Look. look. Come on now. <laughs> Even I know it's funny. Yeah. Oh shit. The yeah. tale of Scrody Mc. Booger balls? <laughs> <laughs> it was a warm summer morning when Scrody McBooger balls awoke to find his. Ew. Yeah. Hey, Tucko. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo. Oh my god. He then grabbed his dog's. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Come oh. on. Come right. on. Okay. Oh my god. Right there? Yeah. It needs Wait, to come out. This house he spotted a bloody and pus covered. <laughs> All right, yeah. No, no. Why she keep reading it? <laughs> Yo, no! <laughs> oh, oh my God, Sharon, bro, oh, just throw it away. Put it down. Walk out the room. <laughs> you throwing up? Go to the bathroom. Hey, man, you can't throw up on a dresser like that. No, when it has she to come throw, out, she's throwing up inside the dresser in the drawer. Yeah, when it's time, it's time. You know that. But you're not going to stand there and keep reading that shit that making you throw it up. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to keep reading it. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. Talking about some no. <laughs> hey, there you go. Bloody and pus covered. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, Randy. Randy. No, don't show Randy. Randy. What? This book. Our son and his friends wrote it. So? So, Randy, it's 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 really good. Huh? Wow. I mean, it's <laughs> disgusting. It's it's the most disgusting thing I've ever read. But the plot is all right. Amazing. It's amazing. I need to read this song. Are yeah. So vivid. Mm -hmm. It was a warm summer morning when Scrody McBooger Balls awoke to find it. Ew, Sharon, gross. <laughs> no, no, just keep reading. <laughs> he took a. And then, oh man, oh this. <laughs> now see if Randy throwing up off that shit. I know, I know yeah. Randy, but trust me, you gotta push through to the end. Come on now, oh, hell no. Hell no. Right. Walking out of the house, he found a bloody butt. What? <laughs> <laughs> he stuck up his infected. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, let it out. <laughs> There you go. He got a pan. He Damn. got a pot. He got a pot. Go to the bathroom. Go to the tub. That was all long ago in some brief lost spring in a place that is no more. In that hour, the vag frogs begin and the scent of Grody's infected anus comes strong. Wow. wow. Oh. oh, man. There ain't no <laughs> way. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Honest, it's the best book I've ever read. Get it Talk about it. Not just me. Go get no, it published. I mean, the whole part about Amsterdam. Wow. What do we do, Randy? We can't yeah, support Amsterdam. ourselves talking like this, but I, I mean. No, I, I know. He's, people need to read this book, Sharon. This is. Yeah, there it is. is Pull surprise stuff. <laughs> Pull surprise. Look, and they just playing Xbox. Yeah. You're chilling for real. Guys, guys. After making greatness. Totally yeah. <laughs> this book is gone from my dresser drawer. My parents must have found it. What? So why are we all fucked? They'll think you wrote it all. Mm, that's hey, crazy. Hey, I'm not taking the heat for this alone. We all wrote it. If I'm going down, yeah. somebody has to go down with me. Tall of y'all. going down, Carmen's going down. And if I'm going down, both Cal and Kenny are definitely going down. Well, yeah. dude, somebody's <laughs> got to go down. Definitely. 
What is it? Oh, hey, fellas. I'm just watching the Kardashians. Type. Today, my sisters and I are going to have to wash something. It's going to blow. <laughs> Kim Kardashian is so <laughs> sexy. Her butt is like a big mountain of pudding. Butters, wow. listen, you are wow. in big trouble. I am? Yeah, you remember that book you wrote? Stan's mom found it. Oh, no. Which book was that? Dude, the book you left with us when you were walking book. last night. I don't even remember that. <gasps> yeah. But it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Ever since I read Catcher in the Rye, I've been having these blackouts. No. Crazy thoughts of wanting to kill the phonies. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. I channeled all my angst into dark writings in my sleep. Okay, but <laughs> he convinced himself. Yeah. <laughs> We've all read the book now, and it is very shocking to say the least. Okay, well, actually, it was all written by Butters. That's right. Wow. Uh. Butters? Is that true? Yeah, I barely even remember it, but I know I did. You better get all the credit, too. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> that this is one of the best books we've ever read. Yeah, let him get all the credit, too. What? Yeah, really amazing. Oh, thanks. We mm -hmm. were actually so moved by your book, Butters, that we brought Mr. Needlebomb from Penguin Publishing to read it. Yeah, Penguin yeah, Publishing. Oh, yeah. He just got done reading that book. <laughs> Hey, he just himself. Yeah, he hey, just closed the book. He can't even clean himself first after. <laughs> oh my God, that nigga just got done. <laughs> like, I mean, nigga closed the book and walked straight in the room. Yeah, like where did he read it though? Where do you think he read the book at? In the living room. He was upstairs probably. Mm. Yeah. He was, yeah, upstairs. was upstairs. They got an upstairs living room. I don't know. Well, some people do. Some people yeah, might be saying, having like, like they could yeah, have one. They might have one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah wherever they left the hey, pages of the book at. Yeah, the Brofloskis, they might, you know what yeah, I'm saying? They got I, ain't, I ain't been through all the house, but like they uh they they, they do they, they do right. Yeah, they yeah, do right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Middle class. <laughs> <laughs> we brought Mr. Needlebaum from Penguin Publishing to read it. Mr. Butters, we would like to offer you a deal for first publishing rights to your brilliant novel. Okay. Wait a minute, that's ours. Yeah, we wrote that. Okay, boys. You already told the truth. Right. <laughs> you really did write it. Tell him, Butters. Nah. I wrote that. Yeah, yeah. Butters. Yeah. Amazing. Butters wrote all that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is being called the most disgusting, foul, sickening book ever written. And it is also being called Literary Genius. <laughs> the tale of Scrody McBooger Balls. Wow. Hit the shelves yeah. this weekend, and so far no one has been able to get through the first paragraph without vomiting. Damn, that, off the first paragraph? Yeah, that's an achievement. Yeah. The book has already sold millions of copies worldwide and has been translated into 26 languages. Yeah. Shit. Oh <laughs> my <God>. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I know it's stank in there too. Yeah. Jessica <laughs> Parker <laughs> Oh, what? The book is changing the literary world, and it is all thanks to Leopold Butterstock. Yeah. Talk about Get it. Get that pose on him. Yeah. What he said? <laughs> Look at yeah. him. Where did you get the glasses from? You right. my life, young man. Next, next. Is it a turtleneck? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta break the turtleneck out. Yeah, yeah. Butters, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Just enjoying myself, quiet. <laughs> you didn't write that book. But you told me I did. Yeah, but right. that's when we thought we were gonna get in trouble, asshole. Wow. Hey, you guys leave Butters alone. Shuffle. He's a yeah, leave him alone. Artist. He's so mm -hmm. brooding and full of angst. Mm-hmm. Yeah, brooding. <laughs> <laughs> you we deserve all the credit. Oh god, you guys are pathetic. Yeah, Talk about, about it. up to it. Yeah. Successful ones. Yeah. God damn it! Butters, do you really think it's fair to lie like this? Let me tell you, if you don't have no, it, let me tell you something, fellas. Let's get it. You always take advantage of me. Hell yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yo, straight phonies. This time, so the four of you can just suck on my wiener. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got to work on that last insult, yeah. but. Considerate jerk. Nah, he's getting there, though. Yeah, he is. Stand up for himself. Today mm -hmm. on today. Today on today. 
the move that has swept the nation and has now spawned TV's most popular game show. How long can you listen to Scrody McBoogerballs on audiobook and not vomit? Wow. <laughs> wow. Seconds. Yeah, he's cooked. Get him out of here. <laughs> including Sarah Jessica Parker, who wow. has 465 times. Oh, God. That's crazy. Are you upset your wife is made fun of so much in the book? Well, it's a book about her at that I point. Just think it's to make fun of anybody's physical appearance. My wife is a beautiful woman, and I know that most people agree with me. Uh -huh. okay. And Matthew, how come a transvestite donkey witch is standing next to you, and why is it wearing a dress? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm for sure not saying it. We can't say that. But that was crazy. No, I wouldn't. Just. just <laughs> Hey, just to be on the safe side. We'll hear it again, though. <laughs> yeah, I hear it again. Oh yeah. my god, that was hilarious, though. That no, was like, it was. damn. It's kind of accurate. I mean, just look at her. Look at her in the show. Nah, look at her in the show. Hold on, look. Come on, what do you say? Nah, you know how they do. Well, yeah, that's accurate, though. She she looked she looked terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like to put it. To put I don't it, know what she looked like in real life. Oh, you never seen her before? I probably have. I just can't. Rem you probably can't have. remember right now. Yeah. Yeah. But like, for the show? Oh yeah, spot on. <laughs> That's what they made. <laughs> a beautiful woman, and I know that most people agree with me. Uh huh. And Matthew, how come a transvestite donkey witch is standing next to you, and why is it wearing a dress? <laughs> why is it wearing a dress? <laughs> along with his parents. Hello, Matt. Hi, everyone. You must be pretty proud of your son. Oh, we certainly are. We're thrilled. <laughs> Very talented. Yeah. His dad got his leg grounded, crossed. Is yeah. that correct? Yes, we did have to ground him for the language in the novel, of course. I had to come back to that room at the yeah, yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. You yeah. know he didn't write that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Famous people? Not yet. But as soon as I'm not grounded anymore, I'm hoping to meet Kim Kardashian. I want to jump oh. on her belly. Oh, he's been on Kim Kardashian. Yeah. My favorite part of your novel was when Scrody McBoogerball slid his head up into the horse's. All right. Yeah, into the bucket. Oh, that's my favorite part. <laughs> Damn. Hell no. Nah, that had to be too. <laughs> yeah, you got to get all of it out, bro. You do. You do, yeah. You can't leave Sorry. nothing left. <laughs> I think, I think so. Is that why the doctor character pulls out all the string? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <damn. God. laughs> Bro. No. She ain't got no bucket, though. Yeah, get to the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Are gosh, bro. Somebody might take your book wrong and try to kill someone, like when that guy tried to shoot Ronald Reagan after reading Catcher in the Rye? Uh-oh. Whoa, is that who the book was telling me to kill? Ooh. Uh, kill Ronald Reagan. There he is. Butters. Hey, you on TV, bro? Oh, really? Oh, gosh dang it. <laughs> more and more of us hey, are against this book every now. day. The author is cruel and offensive. And for these reasons, we demand this book be banned from all schools, stores, and libraries. This book right. is nothing but smut and vulgarity, purely for the sake of smut and vulgarity. Mm -hmm. That's just Talk because you're exactly too what young to understand the underlying themes. There are no underlying themes. We know that for a fact. <laughs> yeah, just come on now. To understand what the author meant. The author mm. meant to be as gross as possible because it was funny. <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 yeah. That's such a simplistic view. God damn it! <laughs> there is no deeper meaning in this book. Read it again. Oh, so you're <laughs> that the author just arbitrarily made fun of Sarah Jessica Parker for no reason? Yes! I yeah. mean, but what would be the point? There is no point! It's just because Sarah Jessica Parker is fucking ugly! Wow. <laughs> Why is she just standing there like that? Right. <laughs> yes, they would! It is because Miss Jessica Parker is a metaphor in the book for oppression felt by the lower class. Come on now. What? Dude, that is not in the book at all! Boy, this book is an important look at how liberals are hurting this country. Wow. Scrooge McBoogaballs is the most conservative hating liberal in literature. What book did you read? There's See, they, they're the going back and forth about it now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, then why does Sarah Jessica Parker's butt cheese end up in Scrooge's milkshake? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody had thought. They don't even know what the book about. Right. They don't even know. 
they, they, they can't even agree on on what the book about. Like, yeah, how y'all going? <laughs> hey, but hey, that bitch is the bestseller, though. Yeah, number, number one, one, huh? Yeah. How mm-hmm. long now? Shit. About a couple days. I don't even know how long it's been. But it's <laughs> it's the fact that it's number one at all should tell you, like. <laughs> Everything number one when it come out. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Everything got that New York number one bestseller on yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, niggas love this shit, though. <laughs> they, yeah, they ain't it up. They, they puking their guts out on this bitch. <laughs> Jessica Parker's butt cheese end up in Scrody's milkshake. <laughs> Breaking news from acclaimed author Leopold Stotch. Mm-hmm. The artist has announced that he is working on a second novel as a follow-up to his wildly successful bestseller. Wow. We got yeah. Who is still grounded in his room? Can you give the public any idea what the new book is about? Well, it's kind of about love and betrayal, the right. inner workings of the human mind. Okay, Will there you go. Gotta be. Talk about okay. it. Okay. Sorry, Dad. I was just being the voice of a generation. <laughs> he sound like he look like book. Steve Jobs. Yeah, he do. <laughs> wow. Look at Sarah Jessica Parker in the back. <laughs> we got a killer. Think about it, guys. If somebody kills Sarah Jessica Parker, then they'll assume that somebody did it because of what was in the book. Then the book will get banned. Dude, we're not yeah. killing Sarah think? Jessica Parker. What? Be right with you. <laughs> you don't have to kill her. We- W thinking? W thinking, like to kill her. I mean, like the the putting two to two, putting two and two together. Like, I see where he got that from. Like, right. But is it a good good idea? It's it's a good idea. I mean, cause she's not messing with nobody. She over there by herself, just messing with the butterfly. <laughs> she, you know, it's a good idea. Her own business. It's a good idea. Is it? It's a good idea for the objective. Is it morally correct? No. All right. Okay. Okay. That's how I feel about that one. Well, how about we just tuck that under the rug for now? <laughs> and then we can maybe swing back over to, over through that if we don't come up with nothing better. Right, 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 right. right. That's the last resort. Yeah. Last one? <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. That's my crazy. Fault. No, my fault. Hey, man. She do to you. <laughs> right, you guys. I know what we have to do. We've got to kill Sarah Jessica Parker. What? Well. Think about it, guys. If somebody kills Sarah Jessica Parker, then they'll assume that somebody did it because of what was in the book. Then the book will get banned. Dude, we're not killing Sarah Jessica Parker. Shh. Be right with you. Oh. We don't have to kill her. We can just help her get killed. Shut oh, up, Carmen. Wow. Just face it. We lost this one. Yeah. Yeah. Just take the L on this one, bro. Kenny, we only have to help her get killed, and then we totally get back at Butters. Wow. Ken. Just to get back Damn. at Butters, bro. Butters, over here. All right. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Didn't get no credit. Well, the day has finally arrived. The eagerly awaited second novel from the author of Scrody McBooger Balls hit the shelves this morning, and apparently bookstores are jammed. Yeah, mm. well, they line up for that hope. I don't know if you can see this, guys, but the the line stretches all the way around the block. People yeah. are waiting for their turn to get inside the bookstore and yep. read the novel. You know, they brought trash that plastic bags, bags and buckets nothing. to throw yeah, no. up in. Just a festive atmosphere here, Matt and Meredith. Mm-hmm. Well, we've got mm-hmm. our vomit buckets ready too, because coming up, a very special in studio treat. That's right. We are going to have a reading of the first five chapters of the book here live in our studio. Yeah. Now, we must warn you that this is from the same author who wrote the most graphic, obscene novel of all time. So okay. brace yourselves for some very harsh language. Talk about Take it. it away, Morgan, Freeman. <laughs> Morgan. Yeah. The poop That's pops for real in the game. Yeah. Chapter mm. one. <laughs> Douglas had to poop. His butt was all stinky because he had to poop so badly. All right. There was a gross woman named Rebecca who mm. was sunbathing all naked and she was fat. Okay. Douglas all right. walked all right. up okay. to her and said, I need to poop. Okay, Rebecca replied. I like poop. Wow. Douglas squatted down over the fat sunbathing lady and went poop. Sunbathing, huh? Yeah. 
Oh no. Like a wiener. Chapter two. <laughs> yeah, not a solid not a solid first chapter, but you know. <laughs> what well, that was barely a sentence. Oh wow. Just hang out right there is the same. We don't have to do this. She's out there too. Butters wrote yeah. a second book. So what? So dude, if Butters wrote a second book, then everyone's gonna know he couldn't have written the first one. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Oh dude, sweet. Hey, Miss Parker, you can. Yeah. yeah. Is she um? Is she okay? <laughs> In a long, thin strip. All right. Yeah. It was wiener poop. Which is the grossest poop Ain't nobody thrown up yet. Hell no. Nah. Pee pee got on the woman's leg and she screamed, pooping out her boobs. And so when the pee got mixed with the poop, it smelled like a butt. <laughs> right. Oh, dude, this is even okay. lamer than we thought. People are going to yeah. want Butter's head on a platter. Are you really this monster? <laughs> so far, I think it, it's incredible. It, it might be better than his first book. I agree. It wasn't as edgy. What? But it's like. He's gone back to his roots. He's gone what? back to his you roots. Can't be people like this. <laughs> his roots. Some of the imagery is unbelievable. What are his roots? Out her boobs is not good imagery. Says you. You must be a pro-life nut, huh? Didn't like what the book had to say. Here they go. On. God damn it! Will you hey, please bro. stop reading into stuff that isn't there? Mm -hmm. And the poop and the pee lived happily ever after. The end. Why don't they just write another book? And make it better than the first one they made. Ain't gonna work. All the attention on Butters right now. If they make a better book, the attention goes back to them. You think so? Yeah. They already wrote a masterpiece. But ain't nobody... They, see, they can't claim it, though. They Butters already got that. They wasn't, like, trying to write a masterpiece, though. Nah, I get you it. Know what I'm they saying? Just do exactly what you did the first time. Just change the story. You can't. Yes, you can. You can't. You can't catch lightning in a bottle twice like that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That was a hit. They didn't even know they had a hit. You know what I'm saying? Now they go back in there try to try to make a hit. You know what I'm nah, saying? They be forcing it just like Butters. You go in with the same mindset you had before. Of what? Let's just make a let's just make, make a, a book for the fuck a of it. A horrible book to get banned. Yeah, that's what their mindset was. Let's write a book that's gonna get banned, guaranteed. They wasn't planning on showing that shit to nobody. That's, that was, that they was at least, in They the at least know that the audience is going to respond positively to this shit. They finna get me against. <laughs> Come on now. Hey, man. That, I would, I would, that's what I would do. That's what you would do? I would write a whole nother book and make sure it's better than the first one. Mm. I was damn sure going to be better than the second one. The shit that Butters wrote? I don't know. They saying this whole better than the first <laughs> one. That one's saying like you can't beat Butters, bro. He'll just write another one. Look, up y'all again. Nah, hey. nah, cause look, they the they the originators, bro. Yeah. They are the originators. Yeah, not butters. Yeah, his his face on the back of the book though. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right. Oh come on! God damn it! Will you people stop reading into stuff that isn't there? And the poop and the pee lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the phonies. Kill, Kill the, the phonies. phonies is crazy. Yeah. Today, my sisters and I are going to shop for underwear. Kardashians. Yay! Can I go with you, girls? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Damn. God. On the yeah. show? On the <laughs> Yo! Oh, they were recording. On the show is crazy. Yeah. Damn. Live on the kid. Kardashians. That nigga going to jail. You know? Yeah. He's going straight to prison. He toast. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. What he going there with a shotgun? He went in there with a whole shotgun, man. Yeah. Nigga. I ain't hear him clock it not once. Nah, he didn't need to. <laughs> he was ready. <laughs> he didn't need to clock that <laughs> yeah. And after the I, first I, shot, yeah. you got it. My sisters and I are gonna shop for underwear. Yay! Can I go with you girls? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he been cock he was cocking it. He cocked it at least three, four times. Okay, yeah. I heard it at the second time. ...from the tragic deaths of the Kardashians. The shooter claims he was driven to commit the slaughter immediately after reading 
The Poop That Took a Pee mm -hmm. by Leopold Butters Stotch. Ban it. Yeah. It's yeah. all over. The Kardashian wiped out. Damn. In the blink of an eye. All because one little prick <laughs> had to go and write a book. Yeah. Leopold Stotch. Damn. And he loved you. the Kardashians. Yeah. You evil fuck. Okay. Damn. Right, you live on the air, player. <laughs> he getting fired. You, people are pissed off at you, Butters. Hang out. They're saying they're going to ban both your books now, completely. Yeah. You're not making any more money. <gasps> you think I care about that? Damn. <laughs> My writing got the most beautiful woman in the world killed. Yeah. Yeah. That was his girl, too. Yeah, that's your girl, Butters. Why he do that? It'll be all right. <laughs> he mean to do this shit. <laughs> look for meaning in books, and sometimes even if it isn't there, they'll try and invent their own meaning. Mm. Yeah, dude, that's why yeah. we all need to avoid books and stick to television. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. <laughs> I'll definitely never write again. Let's do a screenplay. I think I can get over this. Wow, what that's that, that mean? Writers. What you that's mean? What that mean? You what you mean? Just write yeah. a screenplay? It's like right there. It tells you what it means. Instead of a book, you gotta decide for yourself. So, cause I write screenplays, so like, right? What was that like? You really mean like go write a screenplay, or like, what do you mean by that? Like, just instead of writing a book, write a screenplay. Well, you think that's he can't be write any books? He's not allowed to. So, if you need to write anything, write a screenplay. Is that crazy to say? No, I don't. No, I'm not I, trying I, to dog on screen. Okay, yes. I didn't know if what, you, what you, you. I didn't know what you would do. Oh, hey, 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 <laughs> I ain't know. Hey, bro. Hey, <laughs> shit. He said he don't want to write no more books. I'm thinking, okay, all right, done writing. I'll yeah. nah, just write a screenplay. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey. Ah, you good? Playing my fault. Oh, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Get you a little couple screenplays off. <laughs> a couple screenplays off. All right, man. Nah, I don't mean it like that, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got it, bro. <laughs> oh, man. That's some funny shit right there. Yeah. Th thanks, fellas. I'll definitely never write again. I think I can get over this. That's good, Butters, because we need to tell you something. What? You were sleepwalking again and dressed Sarah Jessica Parker up in a moose suit. No. Forest, she got shot by a hunter. Damn. All right. Oh, no. Yep, sorry. You're going to have to come down and admit it was you. Oh, oh. I got her killed too? Oh, oh, oh well, at least she was ugly. They <laughs> <laughs> yes, at least she was ugly is crazy. Yeah, at least she was ugly as wild. And they are horrible friends. Bro. Yeah. All they... four of them, bruh. Kenny, you too. Yeah. Yeah, no, Kenny, he might be the worst one. Because he could say something. He could. It'd be hard to understand, with it. but you know, he do just go along with shit. He's just yeah. like, all right, fuck it. They understand what he's saying, though. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and if you if you listen in closely, you can understand what he's saying too. Yeah, you can. That's why I like it. <laughs> yeah, this is bro. this is the episode that won the poll for the week. Yeah, man. I think it was one and one. It's a good episode. Yeah, it's a pretty good episode. A lot of puking. Oh yeah, a lot of that. Yeah, I'm no stranger to puking. I feel like I wish I knew what the book was, what it said. I want to read that hoe. Yeah. I want to read the book. Yeah. Get you a bucket. No, I, I ain't going to need a Saturday. bucket. You know that game show that they had, who can last the longest? I'd probably win that bitch. Yeah. I don't know. No, I could probably win that hoe. That, that was a pretty obscene book. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I wish I could read it. Okay. So I could know Chat, how obscene hey. it was. If you know where to find the actual text of that book, what? Put it in the comments. He'll read it. He's gonna read it live on camera. No what? Book, no bucket. Yeah. <laughs> and we gonna see the how whole long book. It, yeah, the whole book. Yeah, how we long the book? We'll see how long it take it's for not you to a real throw book. up. Huh? There ain't no real book. Could be. There ain't no real book. Maybe they made the book. Maybe they actually wrote it and then just did put it in the episode. You know, yeah, I'm gonna some fun it. fact shit. If if y'all got it, put it in the comments. But I'm gonna look forward to. <laughs> Look, if you guys enjoyed the reaction, make sure you let me know about it in the comments and comment down below another South Park episode you want to see me watch as well. And I'll get to them things ASAP for you guys.
but before we go, uh oh, let me shout out my uh live stream that I've been doing, bro. Talk to him. We just started the short become human last night, so that live stream is up on the channel. All you got to do is go straight to the live portion, the live category on the channel, mm -hmm. and you can watch every single live past live stream that I've done. And uh, there's South Park streams on there. Mm -hmm. Some of the first streams I did, gaming streams that I did. Okay, so if y'all want to see those, tap into that shit. Oh yeah, six days there. Six days of airs and one of those. Mm -hmm. It should be they're they're all titled, so you'll know what it is. Um, but yeah, Detroit Become Human. We're playing that right now. If you want to tap into the streams, we're we're gonna be going going live on Thursdays, Saturday, maybe Sunday. No. Thursday's for sure. That's the only Thursday's for sure. Thir Thursday's the only guaranteed day I'm a going live. Okay. And then Saturday. Saturday maybe. is a maybe. Sunday's a maybe. Okay. Yeah. So just stay tuned. Mm -hmm. There's also going to be a link in the Discord for for the Discord. There's going to be a link for the Discord in the description. Join the Discord. Stay up to date with everything I'm doing. And uh, yeah, man. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one, bro.